Why don't you give your definition of what cerebral palsy is? Um, cerebral palsy. Oh, okay. Here, here's one thing you should know. It's not a disease. It's a muscular condition that, uh, when I was born, gave me a mini stroke. Uh, it affected my hands to a small degree. It affected my eyes to a small degree. Did not affect my speech at all. So I didn't have to be talking about this at all. Um, people want to um, consider it like a, 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 a bad card that you were dealt with. It is not really that. It's something you learn to live with from birth, probably till you die. And I have learned to adapt to it in my own way. I, I never wanted this to be uh, a detriment to me. And I, I, I never let it be a detriment to me. Um, I defied all the odds. I, I had to take, show my mom how, how, I, how I took a bus because she was always scared that, I, that I'd fall or something. And the danger is, and this is what my sister has with her, with her autistic son, is that if you coddle the person, they don't learn anything. They really don't learn anything. But I learned taking control of my own life and taking my own buses, meeting people, uh, getting to know all about life, gets you around a lot better. When I take buses now, people are saying, how can you get around the bus so in so many different places? The trick is you don't stay in the house. You don't stay in the house. You don't vegetate. You don't do what they think you, you should be doing. In the old days, if you were considered handicapped, they'd put you in a home. Well, I'm not gonna be in a home because my home's up there. <laughs> Life is hard. We know that. It's all about adaptation. Adaptation. How, how you perceive things is how you accept them. You're gonna hit many roadblocks. You cut through them. Cut through the roadblocks. Stay confident. Have a good support group. Have, have many people that you have positive around you. That's the main, that's the main thing I can say. And of course, never stop laughing.